how many of y'all out there had a little red wagon when you were little? Yeah. I think that's like a staple for childhood. Yes. You've just got to have that memory of that radio flyer oh, being yeah. pulled along behind yeah. a bicycle or going down that hill you really shouldn't mm -hmm. have gone down and you have the scars for or it. Or having your dog pull it. There you go. Your Siberian Husky. <laughs> you have got to watch our video today yes. because we are going to show you the cutest little table centerpiece with a wagon. Yes. I'm Vonda, this is Paula, Hi. and we're crafting with scripture. Now, what we plan to do is to motivate the uh, skilled yep. and the unskilled yes. to get your mindset ready to create beautiful works of art that are inspired by God. So sit down, get ready, let us show you how to make this wagon. Because you can't do without one of these. Got to have one. Too cute. Yes. So we went to our favorite store. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yes. And we found a brownie pan. Yes. Now they have a lot of pans. They have some big pans. Mm -hmm. This one didn't come red. We sprayed it. Yeah. But it is a small, shallow little brownie pan. And it says brownie pan on the it says label brownie that comes pan. in it. Important yeah. pay attention. At the Dollar Tree. <laughs> At the Dollar Tree. For a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. now also you're going to need a spatula. This one is called a jumbo turner. At the Dollar Tree as well. Dollar Tree. Yes. It doesn't have to be as big, but I think it's going to make your wagon stronger yeah. if it's a big jumbo flipper. Yep. Okay. You're going to need, and now we got this at Hobby Lobby. It's yes. called Crafty Candles. Now imagine, if you will, these were silver, mm -hmm. but just because we have to video it, we went ahead and painted right. it black first. Right. Four of them was in a little packet. Yeah, they're called candle tins. And can you guys see that? I don't know. They're, the they're over, on they it. were kind of in a, um, I guess they okay. were where the candle stuff is. Right, at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they're yeah. four for three ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. Of course, check your check first because sometimes they're 40% off. Yes. It just didn't happen to be the week that we were right. there. Right. Okay. And they make up, they make the wheels. Right? They make the wheel. Really don't, cute wheels. We're going to be secret. Don't okay. tell them. You don't know that much. yet. Erase that from your memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, we yes. also had red spray paint mm -hmm. and we used um, just plain old Krylon yes. paint. This is glossy cherry red. You've mm -hmm. got to have cherry red yep. for the, for the, um, for wagon. the wagon. Yes. And then we got primer, just black primer paint mm -hmm. for the tires. You're also going to need just a little bit of white paint mm -hmm. and maybe a little brush to kind of touch up things. Yes. So here we go. Okay. So we sprayed our pan. Yes. It's red. It's not sticky. We let it lay for a few hours before yeah. we did that. It's really humid right now. Yes. So you really need to let it dry really well. You might could paint it with another kind of paint, but because mm -hmm. I feel like the paint could come off of the tin mm -hmm. is why we used a spray can. Right. Okay. Now what we're gonna do next Okay. is we're going to take our E6000. Did I tell you E6000 or did yes. I just figure you have some somewhere? And your glue gun. And your glue gun. use both. And we're going to just put a bunch of glue of E6000. Now, we're using the E6000 because it actually is what's going to adhere to the basket, mm -hmm. I mean to the wagon, and mash the sides because it makes it suck back down in there. Another thing I like about the E6000 is you don't have to be in a hurry. It likes to cure a little bit anyway. So you're going to do this nice and slow. We're going to put glue gun right in yes. the middle, just wherever the E6000 is not. And we're going to put a good helping of that yes. on there. And then we're going to turn it. Did I do it backwards? Oh shoot, I did it backwards. It's okay. We're going to lay it this way. 
Okay, That's erase okay. all of that. We're going to do it on this side. You learned from our mistake. <laughs> you learned from our mistake. Yes. We're going to put it on this side. Right. We're going to hot glue it on this yes. side. This is on the part where the pancake goes, okay? Yes. And then we're going to then lay it. We're going to lay it. Right yes. there in the middle. And, we're and it gets hot, so right don't hold there. your hand underneath it does, that, it that side of it. Hold yes. it underneath this side. <laughs> when that paints, when the, all the glue starts working. Yeah. There you go. And you can move it because it's E6000. Mm -hmm. It's not adhered yet. Right. So there we go. There we, we go. Got it There's your like handle this. Okay. on your wagon. Isn't it cute? Cute. cute. When cute. this dries, I'll peel that dry off so it'll be okay. Right. All right. Okay. Now she's going to hang on to that. I'm hang on to it. Yes. And we spray painted four of these black. Yes. And if you can tell, the top has a ridge. I don't know if you can see that because it's black. Yeah. And then the bottom is smooth and the sides are smooth. Can you see that rhythm? Rhythm? Okay. So what I thought that we would do is just to paint this white because you know it's always the tires are black and then the right. white center but it needs something right here in the very middle yeah so we had sheets and sheets of just little stickers like, we like so us. we've got a bunch of stickers we hang on left to over from your kids that's right you know grandkids so we thought a little heart in the middle but okay so we're going to put the little heart right here in yes. the middle you can see it shining and we're going to paint the rest of it white. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when I think about biblical times and I think about wagons, mm. they used wagons a lot. They, they didn't did. have cars. <laughs> yeah. But they also, you know, they had to do sacrifices a lot back then. They did. And so they would yes. load the wagon full of all of the animals that they were going to sacrifice. Yes. And all throughout the Old Testament, it talks about how they loaded the wagons um, to go to the temple, to go to the mountain, to go to wherever, wherever that they worshiped the Lord. Um, because before they had the temple, they would go up to the mountain um, or wherever they felt closest to the Lord. And they would sacrifice animals for their sins because they didn't have Jesus yet. Um, so they had to make sacrifices to the Lord, not just animals, but also they would take the best of their harvest, um, the best of all of their what, wheat, grain, anything that they grew, and of course the first of their um, livestock and the best of their livestock. What always got me mm -hmm. was it you got the best. Yes. Okay. So if you've got a little sheep here, little lamb, and you see from the very beginning when he's a baby that there's no scars. Yes. There's no blemishes on him. So what are you going to do? You're going to take good care of him. Really good care of him because you know you're saving him for the Lord. You don't want him to or be her. scratched yeah. up so you can't let him get stuck up in a thicket right. or fence or anything like that. Right. Because he needs to be perfect. Yes. So you tell me how you don't love that little sheep yeah. while he's growing up. Yeah. But then you got to know that he's going to be sacrificed. Yes. Yes. And so then that makes me think about God and Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because God knew that his son, yes. who he loved, was going to be sacrificed. Yes, for all of our sins. All of our sins. So think how... I just think how fortunate that we are that we don't have to go to the temple, to the mountain, um, with the best of our harvest, with the best of our livestock, and sacrifice them for all of our sins. I can't even imagine how many sheep I would have to sacrifice for my sins. As soon as they realized they were the good sheep, they'd I think run they'd away. run off. They would run away. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because you just imagine, yeah. how many days have you gone without sinning? Right. None. Doesn't necessarily have to be that I didn't kill anybody right. or I didn't steal anything. No. But you also have to control your thoughts. What have you right. thought about today exactly. that was not your holy? thoughts? I mean, 
how many of us have thought when we're driving down the road behind someone that's not driving the way we think oh, they yeah. should, we've thought, hey, stupid, get out of the way. Or Pull out in front what of an you. idiot you are. And those are all sins to yeah. God. They're just as big a sin um, as murder, stealing, you know. To him, all sins are the same. Um, although he does say some are, he abhors pride, which how many of us have not been guilty of pride? I know I have been, and I've kind of been convicted of that lately. So. But um, the thought of killing another little animal yeah. is just, I know they were used to it, right? but I kind of don't want to get used to that. No. So I am so thankful yeah. for Jesus for so many reasons and this yeah. is just one of yeah. the many many reasons that I am so thankful yeah. that Jesus gave his life yes. for me yes. and he can give his life for you he gave his life for you too yes. it just wasn't just for us um, all you and, and he just says all you have to do everyone. is just accept him as your Lord and Savior yeah. and confess that's all your sins, accept him as your Lord and Savior confess your sins and yeah. say he's your Lord and Savior. You don't. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to sacrifice animals. You don't have to. Um, and I've lived anything. today. I mean, it's what late in the afternoon, and I don't even want to think about it. But there was probably a sin involved somehow. Somehow today. Yeah. I don't have to kill anything. No. Because Jesus took the place yeah. of that lamb or that goat, or that cow, yeah. or whatever they use to yeah. sacrifice. So today when we get through, just take a minute and thank, thank Jesus yep. so that we don't have to go through that. That's right. Okay, so remember I painted this white. I had the little heart in the mm -hmm. middle. So while we were talking, I peeled off the little heart so the middle of our wheel has these you, little things on there. Remind you of God's love. There you go. Yes. There we go. Okay. Yes. So now the side of the wagon is yeah. pretty plain. Yes, it is. And um, we, you know, you can decorate that however you yes. want to do. There's a little bit of a lip. Because I think once you get it together, you may decide that it needs a little bit of something. Yeah. But for right now, we're just going to kind of hang off on that. Because one reason we got the glue on the bottom. <laughs> but yeah. we're also going to attach these cute little wheels to the side yes. now of our yes. wagon. So we're going to turn it over to the side. Yes. And honestly, y'all, I'm cheating. I'm going to get some of this. Well, I don't think you are. It's dried up. 6,000. Yeah, yeah I guess up. it did. It dried really fast. It dried fast. up fast. Yes. It's not so, as humid today. It's not as bad as I thought. No, no, it dried pretty quick. Okay, so I'm going to put a big blob of E6000 right there in the middle. I'm sorry it's black, but I think it's shiny so y'all can see it. I am going to go around it with good old hot glue. And once you do this now, you got to leave it alone. Yeah. Which is one of my problems, is <laughs> We're leaving it alone. always trying to fix it better, but don't. Don't try to fix it. Yeah. Just stick it on there and just yeah. hold it. Can y'all see our lights not working right now? Yeah. Okay, but so we're, we're just, just going to hold, gonna hold it. it and I'm going to let you hold it while okay. I grab. And the little top is going to turn, which yeah. is fine because if you don't get the heart like you want it to be, you can, you can turn, turn the yeah. lid. At least for a little while. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's not glued. Right. So it's just the bottom of it is glued. Yeah. So that helps us out a lot. So here we go with another. So put the other one on there. Helpful. Okay. So we've got that on there. Okay, and I'm gonna hold those. Y'all watch for our next video yes. because we will be putting stuff in here to make the centerpiece. Yes. Um, yeah. You can decorate this. Honestly, you could do this for any season. Yes. Um, it's red, so you could put Christmas. little toys in there, little yeah. um, mistletoe, mm -hmm. anything in there to decorate it for Christmas. Right. Um, we're going to be decorating it for fall because that's just what's coming up next. Right. So we're going to be putting some really cute pumpkins, some corn, 
all of that in there. So yes. you be watching for our next video. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can easily turn that over. Okay. We're going to try it without losing it. It should, the, the hot glue should have already um, glued it on there just as yeah. long as you don't bang it against anything. Yeah, just be, be easy with it. Yeah. Don't rough be it up. Be gentle. <laughs> don't rough it up until it all dries. And so we're going to put this right about the same place we yeah. put that one. Okay. You want to put your finger on it? Yep. Okay. Let that hot glue set. And see, even though we thought we really messed up at the front, you're not going to yeah. be able to tell it. We're going to fill that no, glue No, and just think, once you, deck, once you fill it with all your fall decoration and then at Christmas time with Christmas decorations, it's going to hide any flaws that you have. Yes, and y'all yeah. stay tuned because we're yeah. going to have a really cute little core decoration that yes. is going to go in here. That you can put in there, yeah. That's right. And it is cute, too. And so, honestly, I think it's one that... Um, your kids or grandkids could do too. You could do this with yeah. your grandkids. You could do yeah. this whole thing with your grandkids um, as far as decorating. So let's kind of hold it up where you can see it because okay. everything's pretty much. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do and you it's need so one? so less expensive than going and buying a we red wagon. Oh, wagons are expensive. Very expensive. Yes. yes. And we made it the size that we needed. it. Yes. Who would have known? We spent probably about $5 mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. And you can do it too. Yep. We go. thank y'all so much. Thank if you. you enjoy our crafts, please subscribe yes. or if you're on Facebook, please Don't follow. To sprinkle with your friends and family. There you go. Thank Give us you. some likes, some loves. Yes. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, yes. we read questions. So yes, just let us know. So we yes. thank you so much and thank we'll you. see you later. And don't Bye. forget, love one another. Love one another. Yes. Bye.